Hello, library friends. I am here today with my, I'm just going to tip this down a little so you can see it a little bit better, and back away here with my wild animal footprint who is hiding in the woods apron on. We read a story uh, that's posted here on, on our YouTube channel called Footprints in the Snow. And that's kind of what we've got going on here on, on my apron. So I need you guys to help me figure out whose footprints are in the snow. My snowy apron. I see one set of footprints here. They're kind of globby looking, almost like actual hands. One looks like a hand and one looks kind of a little bit longish. Let's see here. They come across and up and do you have a guess about whose footprints those are? Let's see if you're right. Oh my gosh, it's Mr. Raccoon. And that's why some of those footprints look kind of like handprints because raccoons, their front paws are kind of like your hands, only a little bit smaller. There he is hiding in the hollow tree right underneath Mr. Owl. All right, we figured out one set of footprints here. Let's see, I'm gonna step back here and see where another set of footprints comes from. I see one that starts way down here at the bottom and comes all the way up here. Let me get a little closer and we'll pull this up a little. I bet you those tracks look familiar to some of you. I bet you some of you know what those are. This is an animal with four legs and some of the animals have antlers. It's a white-tailed deer hiding there, hiding in the shrubbery. I'm going to just pop him right on here. He's going to watch us figure out the rest of the uh, footprints. So there's his footprints coming up. Let's see. Do we have another set of footprints? Oh, I see another set here that, again, looks like kind of goofy hands and feet. Let's see who those footprints belong to. Climbed up the tree and I think I see his tail sticking out here. Hmm, who hangs by their tail from a tree branch? I think it's Mr. Possum. He's got that long tail and he can swing from the tree branches by it. Mr. Possum, when he gets a little scared, like maybe he's scared right now because I pulled him out of his nice sleeping in the tree, he rolls over and pretends to be dead until whatever is scaring him goes away. So there's Mr. Possum we've found and white-tailed deer, and there was the raccoons hiding in the tree. Mr. Owl was never really hiding anyway. Let's see, do we see another set of footprints? I think I do. I think I see one right on the edge of the apron here. It looks like it might belong to a bird. It's got some bird looking toes and it goes right down here to this big pile of leaves. Who is hiding in that pile of leaves? It's Mr. Cardinal. I'm going to put Mr. Cardinal right here in this tree. There he is, bright red, just like the Cardinal on top of the high school. That's our high school mascot right there. 
Okay, so let's see, how many have we found? One, two, three, four, five. I see at least one more set of footprints coming up here from the bottom. I see them going up here, right up to this pile of leaves. Mm. Oh, I don't know if I want to get this animal out. This is an animal we should leave alone if we ever see it because it's Mr. Stinky Skunk. Thankfully, he's sleeping and I'm going to just leave him right there and not mess with him anymore because I don't want him to spray me. That would be smelly. All right, have we found all of the footprints? We did this set of footprints here. We did the deer. Mr. Skunk here, Mr. Cardinal hopping along. I think there is one more set way down here on the bottom, making a little hoppy circle. Hop, 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 hopping right into this pile of leaves here. What kind of animal do you think hops? You think it's a kangaroo? Really? Let's find out. I didn't know we had kangaroos here. Is it a kangaroo? No, that's right. It's a bunny. So that is what bunny tracks look like in the snow. If you see them, two long ones and two short ones hopping around looking for food. There we go. I think we have found everybody who has footprints, but there's one more animal on my apron. Someone very big, right in this tree at the bottom here, is Mr. Pileated Woodpecker. He doesn't leave any footprints because he mostly flies around, but if you look carefully, in trees that have holes in them. The big holes were maybe made by him because he's a woodpecker, a pileated woodpecker. And a lot of times you can hear him drumming, poking a hole in that tree with his beak, reaching in there to get bugs. So he's finding his dinner right there in that tree on my apron. All right, I think we've found everybody. And they've all fallen off of my apron. We found Mr. White-tailed Deer. We found Mr. Skunk. We found a sweet little bunny, a bright red cardinal. We found sleepy Mr. Possum, Mr. Owl, and Mr. Raccoon, and Mr. Woodpecker. All right, I think we have figured out who all of the tracks in the snow belong to. Thanks so much for helping me out with that. I recommend you get out in the snow this weekend and look and see whose tracks you can find in the snow around your house.